When we think of our homeless population, many of us think of adults who have fallen on hard times. But homelessness has a far greater reach to even the most vulnerable, newborn babies. By one estimate, at least 70 to 90 babies are born in Dane County every year with no place to call home. It is an alarming and growing trend. Oh, it's just been, it's been like a rough year. She's a new mom who has fallen on hard times. And I was put on bed rest when I was three months because I was high risk. So I haven't been able to work since March. Her boyfriend's sudden death three months ago in his sleep means after this hospital stay, her beautiful new baby will start life on the streets. We stay in a different church every week. Few people understand the scope of the homeless infant issue more than Jeannie Erickson with Project Babies. They're people, they're neighbors. They're not all people who are creating problems. They are infants and toddlers with parents who care about them deeply. She spends her week delivering donated baby items to countless needy new moms whose numbers seem to be constantly rising. We should all be appalled and we should be shocked and we should be really willing to step up and say, what can we do to make this different? Because as Madison and Dane County, we have to do better. More space for families. One place where they are trying is the healing house. The kitchen area here, but we're going to expand that. Linda Ketchum with the Madison Area Urban Ministry. We may move the full bathroom into this area. Is working tirelessly to make this dream a reality. Our goal is to provide a safe, home-like environment for people to come and families to come and get healthy and to get back on, help find help to get back on their feet. And not only regain their health, but connect with social services for help with housing, jobs, and daycare. Without programs like this one, the future for each homeless baby born in Madison will be even more difficult. Hopefully they're connected with Project Babies. Somebody makes a call or the shelter system. But again, the shelter system operates only overnight. And so where do, where does an, a mom and a newborn go during the day? If we don't step up and do something for them now, we are going to be, and I hate to use the bottom line, but sometimes that's what hits people. We're going to be paying for this down the road. It's a harsh reality that this new mom never could have imagined. Growing up, I didn't know that there was, you know, homeless people in Madison. I thought it was just something, you know, like in bigger cities and... You know, but it is, it's, it's a real struggle. That homeless mom who asked that we protect her identity has two other children under the age of five. She says they spend each week in a different church, as you heard. She has been connected with Project Babies and the Road Home for Child Care. If you'd like to learn more about Project Babies or if you know someone who could use their help, you can connect with them at projectbabies.org. And to learn more about Healing House, go to the Madison Area Urban Ministry website at emum.org. They have a whole section there on Healing House and what they're trying to do. And of course,